This love story is a hidden part of Ulysses Grant's life. Most people focus on his Civil War time and not realize that the strongest support and foundation for his life is his family and his love for his wife. A house to me is, you know, a structure, the physical architecture, whereas a home has those emotional connections. This is where Ulysses and Julia met, where three of their four children were born. It was that emotional touchstone for them. What we have is the rooms, the physical, tangible connection to the living that went on here. But to have something even more personal, personal thoughts being put down, someone receiving it, reading it, keeping it, I think gets you more directly to the individual, both Ulysses and Julia. Kiss our little boys for me, and a thousand kisses for yourself, dear Julia. I mean, when a man writes to you, the last thing I thought of at night was you, Julia, um, and I dreamed about you. Gives you a real sense of an individual's personality and character. Without you, no place, no home can be very pleasant to me. They were separated so often, especially when Grant was on the West Coast for two years. To be that far apart and the mail doesn't get there very often. To think you wouldn't know for four and a half months that your wife had survived and that you have another child. The unknown can become unbearable. I have been separated from you and Fred long enough. And as to Euless, I've never even seen him. It's through those letters that you really get insight into why he was willing to resign in 1854 to come back here to be reunited with his family. In the process of doing the preservation of the home here, a window in the upstairs hall was sagging. They decided to pull the entire window framing and sash and everything out, and a portion of a letter came out with it. To have an actual artifact from Grant kept here in the home was pretty, pretty special. The family aspect of Grant gave him this foundation, this stability that allowed him to handle some really challenging, difficult times. It certainly gave him the ability to go and do what he felt was his duty by rejoining the Union Army and stay with that cause. This place, Whitehaven, allows us a great opportunity to look into the personal lives of one of this country's presidents that was under the greatest of strains and see who he was as a person. Soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan and can understand how hard it is to be away from the little things in life that make the daily day living, you know, good. Especially when you have small children and, and a place you'd rather be.